So I, I want to double back on um, the intention behind practices such as yoga, and that's the concept of mindfulness. And I think it's interesting. I've heard a lot of commentary that mindfulness is a modern term because even even when when I was a kid, you know, 50 years ago, even less than that, we didn't have so many distractions in our life. Um, when we were waiting in line to get groceries or waiting for the school bus, we didn't have a high powered computer in the palm of our hand to distract ourselves. Right. We had to look at the birds in the tree or talk to some stranger or just sit there in quiet and just wait. And those kinds of practices that, again, we've we've given another label to that and we've calling it non doing that practice of non doing is very healthy. But now it's so much easier to constantly distract ourselves whether it is scrolling through the phone or texting somebody or calling somebody, there's always a way to just kind of fill empty space. But the human mechanism isn't necessarily set up to do that. To constantly have something going on, that busyness that we think is efficiency is probably very contrary to what feels natural to our physical body and our nervous system. And so we've had to engage in practices like mindfulness. Um, another one that I think is really interesting is forest bathing. And that's basically just taking a quiet walk, right? But like physicians are now prescribing a forest bath for 20 minutes to deal with stress or autoimmune issues or anxiety, because we know these types of things are not just healthy, but critical to balancing our systems, our bodies, our minds. And to me, it seems kind of funny to have to prescribe someone, go take a walk in nature, but that's how far removed we are from what we really need. And it's not necessarily our fault, right? It's the demands of the society we live in, it's, we're bombarded in so many different ways. And maybe you're in a space right now where you're thinking, well, Joan, my, my life isn't really that chaotic. It's not very fast paced like that. I can take more time to slow down. Even if you have that, it's just kind of bubbling around us, right? The people around us are, are constantly kind of in this heightened state. So we have to make a conscious choice to slow down and become more mindful. Um, and practices such as yoga are mindful practices because it teaches us to become aware of our breathing patterns. It teaches us of how we're holding the posture in the body. It teaches us about mental focus, right? What, what are your thoughts on in this moment? And that's the practice of mindfulness. That's the practice of being present. So when we're going through our meditation, when we're going through the movements, because this is a controlled environment right now, and we're a little less distracted, be hyper aware of just feeling your body in this moment, noticing the ambient sounds of the room that you're in without becoming distracted, right? If you hear somebody talking in the other room, it's not I want to hear what the person is saying in the other room. It's just, I'm noticing someone talking in the other room, right? Same thing like with your body, right? We kind of scan the body. We become aware of the body, but it's not fixating on one thing. Oh, I wonder why my shoulder is like that. Maybe I can fix the shoulder. I wonder if it was because I did this and this and this. Try not to get caught in something that is not in the present moment. I'm noticing the sensation in my shoulder. Right. And, and so the thoughts are simple. The thoughts are based on what's just really happening right now. Same thing with the quality of your breath. Right. It's OK if it's shallow or um, uneven. 
unless we're, we're consciously trying to take deeper breaths. But regardless of what's going on with it, just feel I am breathing, right? I am breathing. It's not, why is it hard for me to breathe? I gotta focus on breathing this way. I need to, you know, the point I'm trying to make is try not to get all caught up in the hamster wheel of the thoughts. Just pay attention, notice, stay as present as you can and focus. And if you can really do it in this container of this class, then it becomes a little bit easier to carry that throughout the day, right? That's why I think it's really, really important to have personal practices such as meditation or prayer or just times where you really intentionally stop and be mindful and be fully present in the moment while you can control the setting. Because again, that's like a training for the mind and the body for when things do start to get a little hectic and wound up throughout the rest of the day. So think of this as mindfulness training, right? You are training in this container so that you can do it more easily when it is harder to get into it. Okay, so um, let's start with our mindfulness meditation. So make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Try to create a nice straight spine, as, as straight as you can without straining, right? You don't want to force it in an uncomfortable position. And then close your eyes. Let's take a couple cleansing breaths here. So take a deep inhale through your nose. And then gently release that breath out of your mouth. And then do that again. Inhale through your nose. And release that breath out of your mouth. Now we're going to continue the breathing in and out of the nose. And first, just consciously try to take slightly deeper, slower breaths without forcing anything as we start to scan the body. So that's the first thing that you're going to focus on is taking deeper, slower breaths. And as you continue to focus on your breath, we'll start from the outside in. So first, become aware of your surroundings. Maybe notice the sounds around you. Maybe you can even connect to sounds outside of the room that you're in. And again, we're just doing this as a practice of mindfulness in the present moment. So don't worry about what the sounds are attached to, just notice. And maybe there aren't any extra sounds going on around you. Maybe you can connect to the ambient noise of the room that you're in. And then start to bring it further in towards your body. So become aware of the sensation of the temperature of the air of the room on your skin. Take your awareness to the surface of your skin. And then as you do that, maybe notice the sensation of your clothing on your skin. And if it's hard for you to focus on that, pick a point, maybe just the sensation of the clothing on your legs, on your back, on your arms. Pick a point and try to focus on that texture. And 
then start to become aware of the feeling of your feet on the floor. And then to bring ourselves even more presence, present, think of becoming grounded as you connect to the earth beneath your feet. And then allow that sensation of being present and grounded make its way up your legs and just notice how you're holding your legs in the chair. Notice the sensation of your hips seated in the chair. Notice if you feel an awareness of your organs that are being held in the bowl of your hips. Notice the length of your spine, kind of slowly move your awareness up your spine, even try to visualize the beautiful bones of the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the base of your skull. Notice how you're holding your shoulders. See if you can let them go a little bit more. Notice if you're holding tension in your face and try to let that go. Maybe relax your jaw your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks. And then feeling more present in your physical body. Now start to emo notice your emotional body. Whatever might be going on with your emotions in this moment. Again, we're not trying to change anything. We're just noticing. And notice how your mind has been since the beginning of class. Has it been easy for you to focus on becoming more mindful? Is your mind a little bit more active and it's been harder to slow it down? Again, there's no right or wrong, you're just observing. and then become even more aware of the breath and start to slow it down even more, taking deeper, fuller breaths. Trying to make space inside the body as you inhale and let it go, feeling the body gently draw back inward as you exhale. Take a few rounds like that, noticing the effects of the breath. Does it feel easy for you to slow down the breath? Does it feel a little challenging? Noticing your heart rate. Noticing if your body is clenching or if you can let it go. Let's take a few more moments here in this space of, space of heightened awareness and mindfulness, just to settle into the space of single pointed focus, just focusing on the here and now, focusing on the very 
physical immediate as aspects of being present and mindful with yourself in this moment. Sometimes when we are trying to become more mindful, we notice that maybe our mind is caught in a more of a negative loop or a space of anxiety. There's a simple practice that we can do that kind of helps to shift our focus to a more positive space. And that is the practice of gratitude. And sometimes it's the simplest things that we're grateful for that can help to shift our awareness to being more grateful of the present moment. So we'll start by thinking of five things that we're grateful for. And it can be very, very simple. It can be gratitude for your breath. It can be gratitude for the cup of coffee that you had in the morning. It can be gratitude for your loved ones. Just think of five things that light you up, five things that bring you into a space of gratitude and peace. Think of those things now and really notice how it shifts your thoughts, how it shifts your emotions to contemplate those things. So noticing that shift, staying in the space of mindful presence, gently ease out of this meditation. So first, keeping your eyes closed, take your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of the left. Take a deep inhale into your heart, kind of feeling your chest rising. And then as you exhale, release it out of your mouth. Let's do one more heart breath. Inhale. Out of the mouth. Release your hands down. Gently blink, open your eyes. So as always, keep the breath deep. Um, Cynthia was asking before the rest of you joined, you know, if you're supposed to be taking deep breaths the whole time, because there are postures that are more challenging to breathe deep in. And like, especially a twist. Sometimes a forward fold feels a little bit, so, that's where the ability to try to relax the body inside helps because if you can relax inward, you can find some straight space to take a deep breath. So I thought that was an awesome question that I wanted to share. So yeah, the intention is to try to keep it deep the whole time. 
regardless of what posture we're in. And sometimes, right, we're doing like, this needs to be deeply engaged. So you can't send the breath down here, but you can breathe here, you can breathe here, you can breathe here, right? We have all this space that we can start to expand into. And let's say this is like, we're doing a little bit more of a backbend thing and it's challenging to find the breath here, then send it a little bit lower, right? There's always these little spaces and crevices that we can send more breath. It's just a matter of learning to feel it. And that, that takes some time as well. So let's try to keep that breathing steady. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Start to shrug your shoulders to your ears. Inhale here. And then exhale, let them go. Inhale, shrug. It's gonna be a quick release, exhale. Good, one more. Inhale, shrug. Quick release, let it go. Excellent. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, take your right ear towards your right shoulder. Exhale, pick it up. Inhale, left ear to the left shoulder and pick it up. Let's do it again. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Exhale forward. Look over your left shoulder. Exhale forward. Right ear comes towards the right shoulder. This time let's use our right hand to assist in a slightly deeper stretch as you start to bring the ear down. And you can even use your left hand, reaching it in the opposite direction. And then pull your chin in slightly. So you're stretching the back left side of your neck there. Release your right hand down and slowly pick your head back up. Take the left ear to the left shoulder, left hand comes to the opposite side of your head. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed as you stretch the right side of the neck. And then draw your chin in slightly so you're stretching the back right side of the neck. Release the left hand down and pick your head all the way back up. Take your arms out in front of you with your palms facing up. Try to keep your elbows high and you're gonna bring your palms to your shoulders and then press them away. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away and gently release your arms back down. Circle your shoulders forward and back. Reverse the direction of the circles. Good. Now interlace your fingers behind your head. Try to open your elbows as wide as you can. Think of pulling your shoulder blades in towards each other. And then you're gonna pull your elbows in as you round into the body. Let's do it again. Gently pick it up, open the elbows wide, shoulder blades in, reach with your chest. And then exhale, pull it in and round. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, pick it up, open and reach. Exhale, pull it in and round. One more, inhale, open it all the way up as you reach. Exhale, bring it in and round. 
Release your hands down, slowly come all the way back up. Keeping your right hand alongside you, you can keep your left hand down as you lean to the side, or you can take it over. So we're stretching the left side of the body here. Try to find the breath. And then bring it all the way back up. Take it right over to the other side. Reach your right arm over, stretching the right side of the body. And bring it all the way back up. Okay, let's take a twist here. So right hand behind you, left hand to the outside of the right leg, and look over your right shoulder as you twist. Try not to round your back. See if you can find those deep breaths. Excellent. Gently untwist back to the front. And then let's take the twist to the other side. Left hand behind you, right hand to the outside of the left leg and twist. Keep the breath deep. and gently untwist back to the front. Okay, so we're gonna do the flexion of the spine. I'm gonna shift my body just so you see what we're doing, but you stay facing forward in your chair. So maybe your feet come a little bit further apart. Take your hands to your legs. Inhale, reach your chest as you pull your shoulders back, even kind of tilt your tailbone up like you're creating an arch. And then exhale, round the spine. Tuck your chin in, round your shoulders. Even feel your pubic bone tilting towards your face. Let's do it again. Inhale, open it up. Nice, long, open arch through the spine. If it creates strain in the neck, you don't have to look up. And then exhale, reverse it and round. Chin in, tailbone towards the spine face, push into the shoulder blades. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, open it up as you reach. Exhale, pull it in and out. Okay, unravel all the way back up to a neutral spine. Now we're gonna take a nice soft forward fold here. So keeping your feet a little bit wider apart, either rest your forearms on your thighs as you let your upper body hang, or if it's comfortable for you, you let your chest hang on your thighs. Try to find a position where you're not straining, but you're able to kind of sink into a gentle forward fold here. So hold the forward fold and breathe. Hold it there and breathe. Let your head go, let your shoulders go. And then take your time, gently coming all the way back up. Excellent. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more for this one. Okay. So we're gonna use the muscles in the hips a little bit. If you can, come a little bit closer to the edge of the chair. So we're gonna lift the left leg, open it out to the side, lift and take it back. So we're doing that kind of um, full movement there. Um, and if you can't open it all the way out, just lift and lower. So the movement, 
is definitely consistent of the legs within the muscles within the leg, but it's also connecting to the core, the core connecting to the hip, connecting to the lifting of the leg. So keep your core strong. So you're going to lift the left leg, open it out to the side, lift it up and take it back in. And let's do that side a few more times. Lift, open, lift, and bring it in. Two more. Lift, open out, lift it up, pull it in. Good. Last one. Lift it up, open out, lift it up, and bring it down. Excellent. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Keep the core organized. Lift the right leg. Open to the side. Don't worry about how wide. Lift it up and pull it in. And keep in mind, each side is different. Lift, open, lift, bring it in. Good. Two more. Lift it up. Open out. Pull it up. Rotate in. Last one. Lift. Open out, back up, and bring it in. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to play with opening it up into holding that modified side angle pose. So take that left leg out to the side again. Bring your left forearm to the left quadricep and reach your right arm over your ear. You can always bend this elbow if that's still too much for the shoulder. You can take your right hand to your right hip. But try to open your chest towards the front. Keep the breath deep. Be mindful of what you're experiencing in the body. and slowly take it back up. We're gonna switch sides. Bring your left leg forward. Keep that left leg tracking forward. Open the right leg out to the side. Take your right forearm to your right quad and extend your left arm over your ear. Good. And see if you can even feel the breath filling the left side of your rib cage as you open a little bit more. Excellent. Bring it all the way back up. Take that leg back in. Okay, so now we're going to do a modified warrior one. So starting with that left leg opened out to the side again, you can stay here or you can start to extend that right leg back. So we're trying to get the inner hip opening. And it's okay if it's just a little bit, but try to take it back and you're shifting your hips a little bit more on the edge of the chair. Face your left leg and reach your arms up. Now you can also bend your elbows here as well or take your hands to your hips. Good. Find the breath again. Relax your arms down, gradually drag that right leg back, and then bring the left leg back. Switching sides, open the right leg out to the side, coming to the edge of the chair, and see if you can start to extend through the left leg. Try your best to get your hips to both point towards the right as you get the stretch in the inner and top of the left thigh and then finally reach the arms up. And then just imagine yourself filling the entire pose with the breath.
Slowly release the arms down, gently unwind the body back to the front. Good. Okay, take your left hand behind your head. Behind, yeah, just the head. Not, not the back, but just behind the head. And then reach back with your right arm and as you squeeze your left elbow in, you're gonna to try to reach up with your chest. Good, think of creating a little bit of a back bend here. Good, bring it back up and gently release that arm down. Okay, keep in mind that back arm is just kind of supporting yourself. It's not drawn behind the body. It's just kind of supporting yourself on the back of the chair. Take your left arm up, bend your left, uh, sorry, right arm, the other side. <laughs> Bring it behind your head, squeeze your elbow in, and then think about reaching up with your chest as you pull your shoulder blades in. Yes, really nice. Still trying to find the breath. Think of filling the upper chest with the breath. Excellent. And then slowly bring it all the way back up. Really nice. Take your arms out wide and then wrap your right arm over the left and try to reach your fingers as far back behind you as you can. And then as you're giving yourself that nice hug, tuck your chin in and kind of round into the body. Bring it all the way back up. Open your arms out. And then take the left arm over the right. Try to reach the hands as far back as you comfortably can, and then tuck your chin in and round into the body. Slowly pick it back up, open the arms out, and release them down. Good. Now we're going to cross the right ankle over your left knee. I don't know, I'm, I'm mixing them up now. Right ankle, left knee. Maybe grab onto the chair with your left hand and use your right hand to very gently press the left thigh, sorry, the right thigh out. So make sure you're not applying pressure on the knee. Make sure you're focusing more on the hip area here. And lean a little bit to the left so you can get a deeper stretch there. Good, and then take it back up. Now place, if you can, place your left hand to the bottom of that right foot. Keep pressing the right thigh out and gently reach your chest forward. So you're trying to keep the hip open as you take a little bit of a forward fold here. Yes, excellent. Good. Slowly bring it back up and then gently release this leg down. Okay. Other side, left ankle over the right knee. Kind of lean into that right hand as you use your left hand to gently press the left thigh out. Keep the breath going. Excellent. And then take it back up. Place your right hand to the bottom of the left foot. Keep that hip opening and gently reach forward with your chest. 
feeling anchored through the hips as you reach the chest forward. Really good. Slowly bring it back up. Release that leg down, shake it out a little bit. And then we're gonna do one more little cat-cow movement with the spine. Inhale, reach your chest, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, pull your chin in and round. One more, inhale, reach it up. Exhale and round. Slowly bring it all the way back up. Good. And then we'll go ahead and close out the practice. So again, make sure your feet are rooted down into the floor, feeling a nice straight spine. Close your eyes. And maybe to begin this last short little mindfulness meditation, go right back into those five things that you're grateful for. And maybe new things start to pop up. The important thing is connecting to that vibration of gratitude. And then start to notice, notice how that changes your relationship with the present moment. Notice how your body feels right now. Notice the nature of your thoughts. Is it a little bit easier to be present, to be mindful? Keep connecting to feeling the breath, even though the breath is softer. You're still aware of feeling the beautiful ebb and flow of the breath as it moves in and out of the body. And then place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of the left. And take a moment here to bring this vibration of gratitude with you throughout the rest of your day. Take a deep heart-centered inhale. Release it out of your mouth, exhale. Release your hands down and blink open. 